you're a chef, you're a poet, you host events, you've done the gala. Mm -hmm. This is the six year running. Right. And first and foremost, you're a father. How do you make all that happen together? How does that work? Y'all say black girl magic, I say black man magic. <laughs> so, you know, that's it. Let's talk about the gala. Because that's something you do in another major big way. With you in your um, responses about things, it's usually married up to another passion that you have. So it's hard to say that you're one thing. You're a lot of things that's embodied in one man, one being, one, one spirit. So tell me a little bit about the gala. Do you prepare food for the gala? How does that work? When did it start? Why did you start it? I started the gala in Columbus, Georgia. But the idea and the concept was born in Colima, Texas. It was 2013 is when I held the first annual spoken word gala. But the idea and the concept was born in Colima, Texas back in around 2002-2003. In the back of a bookstore called Under One Roof. We held a bunch of poetry slams and competitions. We had open mics and we did fundraisers. We did everything um, we could do pertaining to poetry and to properly explore it and get it out there. Now, we watched the Grammys. We watched the American Music Awards. We watched the Billboard Awards and Soul Train Music Awards. And we see all of these entertainers being honored and awarded. But there was no real um, award that poets were getting, spoken word artists were, were getting. So we didn't get the attention or the notoriety and things that the, the light wasn't shining on, wasn't being shined on us. Now I didn't create the first poetry award, but I did create the first um, poetry or spoken word award on the level of what I'm doing. Uh, being able to get, you know, 100, 200 poets under one roof, dressed up in suit and tie and dresses and sitting down for a nice meal, you know, semi-formal to formal dress, um, attire or whatever, and they gave it as the first poetry award. Um, I don't like to call it a show, you know, but it, it's the first of, of that kind, of its kind. So... I want to do something prestigious, I want to do something that, you know, force them come out and just dress up and have a good time, you know, enjoy themselves and walk away full in more ways than one. You add your food to that? I haven't added food, not my own personal food, to the game just yet. Um, 19 is when I will pretty much debut. You know, my whole little, um, my skills as far as cooking and... When? In 2019, that gave that'll be the seventh annual gala. Um, so that's when I would do all of the food, you know, preparation and, um, for the gala. 